Johnny Lyons Book by Edith Thatcher Hurd. Pictures by Clement Hurd. One day, Mother Lyons said to Father Lyons, Johnny can read. Oh, really? said Father Lyons. Yes, really, said Mother Lyons. I am going out to buy him a new book, said Mother Lyon. Mother Lyon went out to buy Johnny a new book. She looked and looked. At last she found a book about a baby lion. The book was called The Little Lion. Mother Lyon took the book home to Johnny. Johnny was very happy to have a book that he could read all by himself when his mother and father went out hunting. Be a good little lion, said Mother Lyon. Do not go out of the house. Oh no, said Johnny Lyon. I will not go out of the house. I will read my book all day long. Goodbye, said Mother Lion. Goodbye, said Father Lion. We will bring you something good to eat. Mother and Father Lion went away. Johnny Lion sat down to read. At first he did not read very well. He tried and tried until he could read the story. Once there was a Mother Lion and a Father Lion and a Baby Lion. Just like me, said Johnny Lion, only I am not a baby. Oh, said Johnny, what a nice name for a baby. One day, Oscar P. Lyon's mother and father went out hunting. The baby Lyon stayed at home to play. Oh, said Johnny Lyon, just like me, but I am too old to play. I stay at home to read. Johnny Lyon turned the page. He read. Oscar P. Lyon sat down. He tried to think of something to do. He tried to think of something to play, but he could not. Then little Oscar P. Lyon said to himself, I am tired of staying at home all by myself. I will go out into the world. So Oscar P. Lyon walked out of his house. He walked right into the world. The yellow sun smiled on the little lion. The tall grass tickled him. A happy bird sang to him. Little Oscar P. Lyon was happy too. He smelled a big red flower. Oh, what a nice world, said Oscar P. Lyon. But I'm very hungry. I will go hunting just like my mother and father. Little Oscar P. Lyon did not know how to hunt very well. He climbed a big tree, lots of good things to eat, ran under the tree, but little Oscar P. Lyon was afraid to jump down and eat them. So at last, little Oscar P. Lyon had to climb down of the, out of the tree. He saw lots of good things to eat. He ran after them. He ran and ran, but he could not catch any of them. Then Oscar P. Lyon lay very still. He lay still in the tall, tall grass, but he could not catch anything good to eat, not even a bug. Poor little Oscar P. Lyon. He was too small to catch anything. He was very tired. He was very hot. He was very, very hungry. Oscar P. Lyon came to a cool, dark river. Oh, said Oscar P. Lyon. What a nice river. I am so hot. I will go swimming. Oscar P. Lyon swam and swam, but he was so little that he did not know very much about rivers. He did not know that something was looking at him. This is fun, said Oscar P. Lyon. This is much more fun than playing at home. All this time, something lay still and quiet looking at Oscar P. Lyon. The something had two little eyes. The something had big white teeth. The something had a long tail. The tail went swish, swish, swish in the dark, cool river. Little Oscar swam closer and closer to the something with two eyes, the big white teeth, and a long tail going swish, swish, swish in the cool dark river. Suddenly, little Oscar P. Lyon saw the two eyes, the white teeth, and the tail swishing. He swam to shore just in time. Then the little lion ran. He ran and ran. He was so scared that he could not stop running. At last, he came to a place he did not know. He had never been there before. He was lost. Oh, oh, said little Oscar P. Lyon. I am lost. Just then, Oscar P. Lyon heard a noise. He tried to hide, but there, was, there were no rocks or trees. Oscar P. Lyon was, just put his paws over his eyes. The noise came closer and closer. Why, Oscar P. Lyon, said somebody. What are you doing here? The little lion opened his eyes. There were his very own mother and father. They were so glad to see their little lion, and they both gave him a big hug. But then Mother Lion said, You are a bad little lion. You did not stay at home and play. You will have to go to bed without any supper. Oh, said Father Lion, I have been out hunting all day long. I have a big steak for my little lion. Couldn't he go to bed right after supper? 
Well, just this time, said Mother Lion. So Oscar P. Lion went home and ate a big steak, but he had to go to bed right after supper. Johnny Lion stopped reading. He closed the book. Just then, his mother and father came home from hunting. What did you do all day, said Father Lion. I went out into the world, said Johnny Lion. Oh, no, said Mother Lion. I went hunting, Johnny said. Come, come, said Father Lion. I got chased, said Johnny Lion. Johnny, Mother said. I got lost, Johnny said. What, 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 Father Lion said. But somebody found me. Who, said Mother and Father Lion. You, Johnny Lion laughed. I was only fooling. That's what happened in my book. Really, Mother Lion said. Truly, Father Lion said. Really, truly, Johnny Lion said. I stayed at home all day and read my book. I thought so all the time, said Mother Lion. Then Mother and Father Lion gave Johnny Lion a great big hug. But, said Johnny Lion, now I am very hungry. Have a steak, said Father Lion. Do I have to go to bed right after supper? Johnny said. But why? said Mother Lion. Oscar had to, Johnny said. But you know what Oscar did, said Mother Lion. He had a lot of fun, said Johnny Lion. But I wouldn't want to go to bed right after supper. And he didn't. He ate his great big steak, and then he stayed up very, very late. He stayed up until he almost fell asleep. Then Mother Lion tucked him into bed. I'm glad Johnny Lion... I'm glad I'm Johnny Lion, said Johnny. And not Oscar P., Father Lion said. Yes, said Johnny sleepily. So are we, said Mother and Father Lion. Then they kissed their little lion good night. But Johnny Lion was already fast asleep. The end. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard, please click like and subscribe.